Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The anticipation and excitement of today's daily foot birthday SBC player is building because of the leaks and because of the precedent that EA set yesterday in FIFA 23 by dropping the Antonio foot birthday SBC. This SBC we see today might be the biggest one in a long time, especially if it's upgraded well and if the price is right. So we're going to take a look at that potential of that SBC affecting the market in terms of fodder, in terms of what could be moving as people buy and sell cards to get this SBC player into their club. We also have the return of the year in review player pick today, and it's a Wednesday, so a brand new team of the week that could feature some really big names as international break has been going on and some big name stars have been performing, including Ronaldo, Mbappe, all have a shot. Yunmin Sun, all have a shot at getting in team of the week this week. And we also, I want to talk about a bit the first news and leaks about team of the season. Something to keep in mind with some news that we saw yesterday. So if this video helps you all out today, hit the thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel let's do a quick overview as we always do about the content that dropped yesterday in FIFA 23 because it's going to give us some insight onto what could be dropping today first of all we had the showdown SBC the first of two EA said there's going to be another one next week but the first of two showdowns between Wolves and Forest. This game is happening on Saturday. You've got a couple days to get these SBCs done. Again, the big upgrade potential here is the possible five-star weak foot upgrade based on the result, right? These are normal showdown cards, so plus two for the win, plus one for the draw, and I believe in the case of a win or a draw, the winning player or both players would get a five-star weak foot upgrade. That's what EA on a little message in-game that popped up said. So, um, hopefully either one of these teams is going to pull it out. We always love the plus two upgrades. Plus one just kind of feels like I don't know, not as exciting and not as fun, especially if you do either one or both of these SBCs. Four-star, four-star on, on Mateus Cunha, some nice position changes. Um, not an amazing card, both of these guys, honestly. Gibbs White and uh, Cunha both need an upgrade to really be meta, but they're not terrible cards. The price point is something that people are not super happy about, both coming in um, at about 200,000 coins a piece, and especially with all the other SBCs that are out right now, these really don't stick out that much. And I mean, to be honest, we had three Premier League attackers all dropped as SBCs yesterday. So maybe set this one off to the side if you really want to get it for your team or if it's one that seems really fun to you for the gamble or just for the potential. Like Mateus Cunha could be really nice with a plus two. So could Gibbs White. So I'm not really decided yet on which one I'm going to pick, but we'll be looking forward to that game this weekend and the potential upgrades there. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Yesterday, we had the Mikhail Antonio foot birthday player SBC with a five star weak foot upgrade. First special card he's had this year. Not an insane player by any means. It's not an SBC that you must do, right? It's just kind of a decent daily player SBC from Foot Birthday. Another Premier League card, man. We've had so many Premier League cards in this promo, and that continued yesterday. Now, the interesting thing about this was we saw a leak about Antonio. We talked about it in yesterday's video, and we thought that, hey, this might be happening because Antonio's birthday was yesterday on the 28th. Now, today on the 29th, we have a big birthday and also a leak that matches up with that said birthday just like we talked about yesterday with Antonio it is N'Golo Conte and that is the big news and that is all of the hype for today's content is today is like the perfect scenario for Conte's SBC to be dropped. Now, I have a lot of high hope for, hopes for this. I know this is probably the biggest player SBC we have had yet in this promo. I also think it might be the most expensive. Let's talk about this Conte. So, of course, Conte's Winter Wildcard is the best version that he has on this game. So, we're looking for a Conte SBC today that, let's face it, is probably going to be 92 rated. Hopefully, it's 93, right? Hopefully, it has stats a little bit better than this. But just think about how the upgrades have been during this foot birthday promo. I mean, a perfect example to draw here would be... Look at the Nunez upgrade from the Winter, or the Felix upgrade from the Winter Wild Courts, or Darwin Nunez's upgrade from his ones to watch. Very, very small upgrade. They just gave kind of like the five star boost, right? On the Felix, plus one shooting, one dribbling, and one physical. That's it on his card. I hope I am wrong today, but I really feel like Conte is not going to have that big of a juice. But even if he does have a nice plus one or plus two, in, especially if it's a plus two, right? If you're going to kind of look at the Pedri SBC that we had, Pedri's SBC from his team of the year honorable mentions was plus twos basically all around with a plus one now of course the four star downgrade on the skills on Pedri was not very desirable but I think Conte today I think a lot of people would love it if he had a five star weak foot 
I would almost expect EA to give him five star skills. I hope they upgrade the weak foot as well. So a five star, four star Conte would be perfect today. And if they're not going to upgrade it very much, I hope the price isn't super crazy high as well. Just make sure EA that he has above 80 pace that we maybe get into the high 80s, like 87 dribble, 87 physical, 92 defense. We would love a plus two around the whole card. I'm not expecting anything crazy, but I hope the price is nothing crazy as well. And that's why I'm going to compare one of the SBCs that we have just had recently, the Rivaldo, right? We've had the Rivaldo at about 1.55 million coins. That's where I feel like if a Conte is getting a plus one overall upgrade with some plus ones and plus twos on his card today in this game, I feel like it's going to be around the price of a Rivaldo, somewhere around 1.5 million coins. I hope they don't overprice this Conte SBC, guys, because there's so much hype for this guy today. So many people would love to get a Conte into their team. He fits right now with a lot of the Premier League cards that are out, and we haven't had a ton of Conte special cards this year. Of course, we've only had one, and this is just the type of FIFA player that so many people would love to put in their team. Honestly, right? It's Conte. Conte has been injured, you know, and this is a player that it's a bigger name than Pedri, I would almost say, in terms of the FIFA meta and sense. I, I've used Team of the Year Conte cards for the past couple of years, and he has been a staple in my team, and he just hasn't, I haven't had an opportunity to use this card, and there hasn't been an easy Conte to get besides the gold. This is, guys, this SBC today, if it does drop today, of course, there's not 100% um, you know, availability that it will. We're really expecting that it will, but it couldn't also be saved for later on in the week. But it just makes sense for it to be today. But this SBC, guys, is going to have so much hype. So if we're saying 1.5 million coins, how is that going to impact the fodder? Well, it's probably going to make some of the higher rated fodder go up. If the SBC value is good, people want to go out and do it right away today and they want to start crafting it and grinding the SBC, I do believe you would see some higher rated squads just like Rivaldo. If we're going for a 1.5 million coin-ish SBC, maybe even a little bit more expensive, you're probably going to see some higher rated squads in there. Like on Rivaldo, we've got an 89, 289 rated squads and 288 rated squads before you dip down in the 87s to get to the 84. So I think there's probably going to be a couple 88 or 89 rated squads inside of this Conte and that that could make some of the higher tier fodder go up further in price. If that is the case, today might be a really solid day to sell some of this fodder. At least get it listed up for lazies if you have not been doing that. 91's at 72k a piece. 90's are at 57,000 coins. Um, almost all 89's are actually all of them are over 40,000 coins approaching 41k. So fodder prices are rising nicely and they could go higher today. If the Conte does not look that good, if he's got a very small upgrade and is very, very overpriced and expensive, then you're probably going to see fodder stay the same or go down a little bit. But again, just like the Pedri SBC. I'm really drawing a lot of conclusions to Pedri because uh, I really feel like this Conte is as in demand and as big of a name as, as Pedri, if not even bigger. So some people today are going to do the Conte SBC regardless because they're going to start crafting it, especially with the 85 times 10, the swaps packs, the upgrade packs, all the packs that are in objectives. Everybody is going to be looking at this Conte SBC with a lot of interest today. So that's kind of what I'm expecting there. Let's talk about the rest of the market, right? Of course, a big name midfielder like Conte how is that going to impact the rest of this game? I do believe some of your pretty high tier, not super high tier, but some of your midfielders that are in this game that are pretty expensive. Um, this is one that I'm just thinking about off the top of my head right now that would be a pretty expensive midfielder, not super crazy price, but like midfielders that are around a million coins, 500K to 1.5 million coins, some of your icons, some of your Premier League midfielders that are in that price range, maybe like Yaya Toure, for example, right? Some defensive midfielders could take a hit in price with this SBC dropping. Yaya, I know, is like 400,000 coins, you know, so he's not that expensive, but that is the exact type of player that could be taking a hit in price today if an SBC is really, really good value for a defensive midfielder on Conte. And then, of course, the other flip side is, Nate, what about other Chelsea cards? If people do this Conte today, how are they going to link him into their teams? Well, a lot of Premier League card prices are already up. And to be completely honest, guys, could they go higher? Like this Fofana is approaching 420,000 coins. Um, I still have the one on my transfer list that I bought at 375 last night. He is starting to go up. You know, Koulibaly, other players, Mudrick going up in price, some of the more popular and rare cards that link to the potential Conte definitely going up in price. They could go further today. Think about Araujo. Think about Usman Dembele that went up for the Pedri. But again, it does kind of depend on the price, of course, 
of this content since it's going to be a bit more expensive um, i know there's a lot of people that have invested in some of those special cards as well so just be careful if you bought premier league cards today to link to the conte yes they could go up a bit but also i would imagine that this conte sbc would cause a little bit of panic on the market i'm sure some people would be thinking about selling some cards today just so that they can get some coins to start crafting the Conte if they want to get it done, especially for this weekend league or whatever it may be. So I do believe that this Conte will cause some market movement today, but I also feel like it could cause not a crazy amount of movement unless EA make it super cheap. And this is the type of SBC that if EA drop it at a really low price, that's very craftable at this stage of the game. This could be a big time SBC that, you know, really creates a lot of chaos on the market. But I just don't think they're going to do that because the upgrades for Flip Birthday have not been that amazing. And the SBC pricing hasn't been that great as well. So that's why I'm saying around 1.5 mil, probably plus ones and plus twos all around the card. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this Conte because he fits right into my team. I would do his SBC if it is priced right. So that's kind of all the news and info on the Conte card for today. I know we talked about it a lot, but he's such a sought after player in FIFA, such a meta guy for so long and hasn't had too many special cards this year. And of course, a very attainable SBC special card as well. Now for the rest of the market, like we mentioned, if Conte is insane today, definitely going to take a bit of a hit. I see a lot of the full birthday cards are kind of just chilling in value. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot of these guys are really dropping in price that much. Bernardo Silva, I look at Nunez. A lot of these guys are still kind of in the same range that they have been, give or take 20 or 30K, right? There's always some fluctuation in there. I mean, Bernardo's actually up a little bit at the moment right now. Um, Joao Felix, Zinchenko, I flipped one of him yesterday. A lot of the icons are still around their same price. You know, some down a little bit. Pushkas right now is 3.3. That's one of the lower prices I've seen for him. He was around like 3.5 earlier in the day yesterday. Uh, and yeah, he's 3.29, 3.3. So a couple undercuts here, that 3.24 right there. So I do believe these full birthday cards I would not want to invest in. I know a lot of people are looking at Emerson, Marquinhos, uh, Zinchenko as potential investments out of this team. I think I would wait until we get towards Thursday, guys. I really would. We're going to pump the brakes until then. We don't have any more leaks at the moment still about what cards could be coming out in Team 2. And especially when you think about investing in a card from Team 1 that's going to be going out of packs, you really want to know some info about who's going to be coming in Team 2 before you go and do something like that. So I think we're waiting still on these cards. And for the market in general, one other thing we have to consider now is, and I wasn't going to talk about this till the end of the video, but I feel like it's a really good spot to fit this in. We had the first leaks about team of the season posted yesterday on an insidergaming.com website, which I'm not super familiar with this website, but a lot of you guys uh, know this website, maybe for other video games like Battlefield or Call of Duty and stuff like that. And this guy, Tom Henderson, who wrote this article, he is a very, very reliable leaker of just games everywhere. And this was his post today, leaking the dates for the voting of the beginning of team of the season. Now, bear in mind, this is the vote. So usually voting is 10, sometimes 14 days before we actually get the actual team of the season cards in the game. Premier League team of the season voting, he says, starts on April 18th, which when you look at the calendar, you might be surprised that is not that far away. It's only a few weeks away. And with all these other kind of unknowns and some of these other tots that are listed in here, it's very interesting to see this order, right? It looks different. Usually we see community tots is first, then Premier League. And then, you know, it doesn't list League One. It does not list Serie A. So maybe those are some of the unknown ones that are in here. But the fact that we have some first leaks about team of the season does kind of reinforce the idea idea whether or not these leaks are absolutely 100% spot on or not it reinforces the idea that hey guys team of the season is not that far away I'm not telling you to sell cards I'm just saying put that in the back of your mind because yes we did have some price drops with the whole foot birthday market crash scenario that we had last week right we saw prices really drop off and we've had some prices rebound back but I still believe on a lot of the most top tier and even some of the middle tier cards on this market, we have uh, we got to see some prices drop even more. We really do. Like some of these guys that have new special cards that have dropped off. I mean, look at uh, Captavia, man. Captavia was 830, went back down in the panic all the way to 720 on that crazy day last week in March 21st on that crazy Tuesday of panic before foot birthday. And then boom, he's back up now to 830K. So some of these guys are going to fall back down before a team of the season because if there is a promo that is going to really give some insane cards, it has to be team of the season, guys. We thought Foot Birthday was going to boost 
boost the power curve. Team of the season is going to do that to a whole nother level as well. Um, but that's still a couple of weeks away. So I'll put the link to this article down in the description because, again, you got to take it with a pinch of salt. And I know that it's still like three weeks away. But just keep that in the back of your mind. If you have tradable players in your team, we're just being careful, right? We're being careful with some of these because team of the season, of course, is always going to bring a big market crash, even bigger than what we've seen with Foot Birthday this year. Um, and we didn't see a huge crash with Foot Birthday this year just because... EA is barely upgrading these cards. Once again, the power curve is really not going up that much with these, just a little bit with some of the five-star weak foot and skill move upgrades. And with team of the season, 100% uh, of the time, you see the power curve uh, advance upwards because the cards do go to another level than 100% of the time. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. Uh, not really to panic yet, but just in terms of the market, that is looming, if you will. Now, let's take a little bit of a quick second here to talk about swaps because you maybe have seen some people, you maybe even seen some of the videos on the Clips channel or something like that that we're going to post here pretty soon about this um, this player pick, the 87 plus road to the final fantasy foot hero, fantasy foot, foot birthday team on player pick. 15 tokens were finally available. There have been 17 released, only 15 able to be claimed because the whole objective situation uh, with the daily login, two objectives that we can't get done yet because there hasn't been enough days that have passed. But this player pick, guys, I'm definitely glad that I plan on doing this from the start because it kind of looks nice. We've saw some really good pulls from this and the fact that this player pick includes basically every single live promo that we've had in the past couple of weeks besides foot birthday i know it's not a live promo but road to the finals fantasy foot heroes and fantasy foot cards we got saliba we got cool we got um isak a couple of times oop mcconnell was popping from this player pick it's a one of five yes there were some l's but a lot of the time there were some really good cards being pulled out of this so if you're still kind of you know not sure on which uh, rewards you're going to be taking. I still like the 85 times 10, but I still like this as well. So I'm going to take the 85 times 10 first, especially if Conte is going to be today. That's kind of my preferred option to get the fodder and get that stuff going um, and rinsing and crafting and stuff like that. But this player pick, man, I'm definitely going to be taking this with my second big purchase of 15 tokens because it looks really really good and kind of broken now speaking of tokens where's our next one going to be today i think today is going to be in silver stars that's the usual uh wednesday place for the tokens get dropped so get your silver teams ready again and still ggs to ea uh i'm in the wrong section here objectives right ggs to ea for making the silver swaps token available just after winning the three you don't have to try to get the rest of the stuff i know it's still kind of a grind to get three wins but you know it's not like you have to complete the whole objective to get yourself uh, the swaps token. So if you haven't done this yet, you got a little bit of time yet today to do that. That's probably gonna be our 18th token. We have 17 drops so far. Today, it will be 18 total that have been added into the game. Only 16, though, will be able to be attained, if that makes sense, right? Use the tracker link that we have posted in the video descriptions before. I'll post it again today if you want to see um, where all those tokens are at and which ones are available still right now. Other content that we could see today, a team of the week that could be really cracked because... International break team of the weeks are almost always cracked. And this is a prediction right here that omits a couple of players that could also be in. But Mike Magnan, Savage, Hyunmin Sun, Sandro Tonali, Lukaku, Daka, Cancelo, Pulisic potentially getting in. I, ooh, I like that. Should give me a Pulisic card. Let's go. Um, you know, there's some really big names that could be in this as well. McTominay, Sabitzer. Uh, McTominay scored like four goals over international break. McSauce was balling, right? We were talking about that yesterday in the stream. He should be getting a card. I would love it if they gave him a featured card. I know he's got the storyline card right now on objectives or whatever, but just give us a, a team of the week EA that's double boosted. That'd be great. Uh, Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo, more players that could potentially be in this team of the week. International team of the weeks, guys, are usually pretty boosted. Um, and I don't remember if they do dynamic images for international team of the weeks or not. I always forget which team of the week it was earlier on this year. Um, I think they have been giving international team of the weeks the dynamic images, which is something that was new this year. I think it was like team of the week four that was maybe international team of the week. And if you look at this team of the week, you know, it's it's not bad. Um, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't team of the week four, I don't think. But just uh, keep an eye out for... The potential for a really cracked team of the week this week because um, they have really juiced international team weeks in the past. And with all the players that have scored some or put up some pretty big stat lines in the past week, that could be really hype. Now, also for today, that scammy, but also fun 
player pick, that year in review player pick is going to refresh today. So if you did it the first time, you get another shot at it today. At least according to this, it says it's going to refresh today in 13 hours, which is content drop time. So today on Wednesday, if you have an 84 and an 86 rated squad worth of fodder ready to go, we'll be able to do this again today as well. So we'll be opening some of those on stream today. I know it's a risk. You could get Mbappe. You also could get like, I don't know, somebody that you, you really forgot about, even had an objective or an SBC. But that's kind of what's going on in this game at the moment. And uh, yeah, the, the Conte SBC is the really, really big thing today, guys. So I hope EA do the business with that. Still keep an eye out for some foot birthday leaks. We haven't seen many, but hey, it's it's Wednesday now and Team 2 is coming, right? Team 2 of foot birthday icons and Team 2 of foot birthday, right? You see uh, foot birthday Team 1 and then also the icons are listed as Team 1. So I would expect to see another Team 2 of icons and of course, another team of players in packs for the second week of foot birthday so a lot of stuff upcoming hopefully today's a w day if you want to watch it all and kind of be with a content drop with us drop into the twitch stream link is down below in the description i will see you guys there in the stream today but if you're new around here hit that subscribe button comment down below if you have any questions comments and if you enjoyed the video today smash the thumbs up on it i'll see you in the twitch stream today it's been nathan for the count and catch you guys there peace out